Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at a fifth wheel that has one of the best design living room areas and the biggest bunkhouse area for the kids that I've ever seen. This is a 2021 Heartland Milestone Model 386BH. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first and the inside features then. We're gonna give you three things we love about the Heartland Milestone and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's and Will's RV Reviews Towables. It's the world's only channel giving you three things we love and three things we don't love about every travel trailer, fifth wheel, and toy hauler that we review. And again today, I am super excited that we are taking a look at this awesome, never before seen milestone. This is such a unique floor plan and I'm super excited to show everybody. But before I begin, I would like to say hi to Will. Hey Will! Hey guys! How's it going? It's going good. I'm super excited to take a look at this milestone. I haven't seen the inside. Matt just told me it's got a nice big bunk room. Yes. And um, so I'm excited to see what it holds. Part of the element of surprise is I, I didn't want Will to see the inside, so I wanted him to be as surprised as you guys are once we take a look at the inside. That's well, right. Let's begin. All right. Model is Milestone 386BH. The actual tip to tip length of this fifth wheel is 43 feet 7 inches. The dry weight is 12,995 pounds. And will that pin weight? 2,330 pounds. Perfect. Right up front here, we have a nice painted fiberglass front cap. And as you can see, it came in during cicada season. That's right. Uh, but Maryland is having their big uh, cicadas right now. And look at those big old splatters. Yeah, splatter that neck. Uh, right up here, we do have a lipper component, Rotoflex trailer pin box right here. And then underneath here is storage. There is cutouts, there's a battery disconnect switch, and it is prepped for a generator. And right there is your inverter. Coming on down the side here. Because Heartland does have the one-year warranty, three-year structural. Right here is your propane tank, okay? No hydraulic, it is electric leveling, but it is six point electric leveling. Love that. This is a nice, um, I don't want to call it a luxury, it's full profile, but it's that nice price point. It's not right. like it's not like the top of the line, and it's a bunkhouse, so it works really well, right? For families, you know. Uh, right here, we have huge storage. This is the nicest fifth wheel for families, if that makes sense, you know yeah. what I'm saying. And then right over here, we have more storage because you can never have enough. Right. And then this is more storage because you can never have enough. Coming on down the side here, look, there's no slide outs on this side, not till you get to the back room. So you have ample awning space. Let's take a look at that when it's all the way out. All right. Great, very nice power awning with LED lights. As I go up and down, we do have the Morai solid steps right here. Very nice feature with a grab handle right there. Because this is a Heartland, they are doing the Asdale sidewall composite, which is a green based material that will never delaminate on you. And this does have the weather package, optimal thermal protection. That means it has a heated and enclosed underbelly with heating pads on the tank. Right here, we do have speakers on the outside. And then here, oh, look at this. A little propane cooktop, Flame King. Very nice. And then look at these tires, Will. They're the Trailer Kings. I love those. They're the uh, ST. 235-80R16 with Dexter axles. You have a power plug right here. And this, I bet it's a mini fridge. Yes, there is. the ever chilled mini fridge. And Will, we're yeah. blowing a little hard. Let me get this on again. Okay. If in doubt, pull it in. And then coming on down the side here, 
coming around the back? Yes. We do have a receiver hitch, good for 300 pounds of vertical rate. It is prepped for a Furion backup camera. And we do have a door right here with more solid steps, okay? This is this is our second full bathroom, which is really nice. Crazy. We'll show you on the inside. Cool. And it's kind of weird that the door's back here, but it's also practical at the same time. Also, we do have a ladder to get up on the one-piece TPO roof. Will, let's go up there and take a look. All right. I can't do that one. Oh, yeah. Hang on a second. It's a big step. All Can right. you get it? Dang, that one's tough. Need a boost? Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, one more time. I got this. <laughs> Here we go now, only in America. <laughs> hey, hashtag, hashtag fathletic. Up here on the roof, you can see it's a nice one piece TPO roof. Not one, but two AC units. I love that. Look at that, right up here, we do have a little solar panel already on top. And we do have our Weingard 360 digital antenna. Here we go now. Careful. Here we go. Great. And if you haven't already, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. One of the RV salesmen is taking his fat ass up on the roof, showing you what features the roof has to offer. Nobody. Nobody. Right over here, we do have our 50 amp power cord. Okay, right there, that's where you're dumping your tanks. You know, that's a horrible placement. But well, if you take a step back. Oh I mean, yeah. These three slide outs, like. For what you're given, it's not bad. It's not horrible. Yeah. Uh, it's like, what are you gonna do? For what you're working with, right. right. And then, yeah, right over there, another. Now that one they could have improved that's on. That's pretty bad, yeah. Right over here's your water heater, okay. And then here, yep, outdoor shower. Here's where your Phillips are, black tank flush, potable water fill, potable, potable. And then here is propane. Very nice. Well, well, the outside of the milestone looks great, but it is the inside that's the most impressive about this unit. Will, let's go take a look. All right. Check it out. Okay. All right, we'll start up front. Got the bedroom up front here. Bathroom right here. And coming back down in the middle, you got your living area, dining area, kitchen. And then all the way in the back, you got the bunk room. And that second full bath. Will, yeah? this is not a bunk room. Okay. This is called the ultimate bunk room. Okay, we got our lights on. There we go. Look at what we got going on. This drops down and makes a bed. Bed there, bed there. This is a dinette that drops down and make a bed. Four sleeping areas back here. Hashtag, there. oh I know, oh, oh I know, okay. oh I know. Hashtag ultimate bunk room. Look at this. We have a big old barn door to shut those kids up in here. Storage underneath there. Storage right in here. Again. Another bunk room. And then on top of that, if it's not good enough to have four sleeping areas in a bunk room, there is a loft up there. Hashtag athletic. Yeah, you See, can get up there. Here's what it says 300 pounds. Yeah. I don't know if this ladder's rated for 300 pounds. All right. Here, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going <laughs> to look at this. A loft area right up here. Very nice feature. So, this is a bunk room that sleeps. 
five people. Not only that, you could throw an air mattress down here. I you mean, could. There's this plenty is of room a, in here. This is this is a kid's party dream right here. And then, right over here, Will, is the bath. So check this. <laughs> All right, well, it's now time for the tall test. Okay. This isn't going to be good. It's a shower tub. <laughs> shower tub. And no. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh no 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 no! stay in there stay in there i need to take a picture for uh our facebook group if you guys aren't a member of uh club art deco make sure <laughs> make sure you join us on facebook so you would have saw that picture that is absolutely hilarious right here we have the sink and medicine cabinet no medicine cabinet the sink solid surface though wow and then right there we have a little bit of storage you switch yeah come on out here right here we do have a place for towels and everything oh my god <laughs> that was absolutely hilarious i feel like that might not be bad <sighs> you know what it's a little tight mm -hmm. but i am going to give this the benefit of the doubt because it is a second full bathroom in the bunk area. Right. I'm going to do it. This is a prime pooping position. Ding! Yeah, yeah. I easily could have gone the other way, but I'm, I'm giving it, you know, really not that bad. And so cutting through, through to the, uh, to the living area, bedroom and to the living room area. Okay. So, so check this out. So th this is the dinette area. Yeah. Little to none. I love that. Right. We've talked about this before. We don't need a dinette, and especially in this unit. It doesn't matter if you gave me the biggest dinette for how many people this sleeps, you still wouldn't be able to eat that many right. people around a table. You know what I'm saying? So it's kind of like irrelevant. It, this table's actually kind of irrelevant, but it's nice. It's a desk area, it's a work area. Two people can be sitting here. It's okay. Very big TV right there. This living room's kind of toy hauler-ish. You know what it I'm is, saying? It is, yeah. Um, big TV right there. We do have some storage right here. Very big and tall. And then here's your seating area. Okay. Three seats. Thomas Paine collection. Okay. Very nice. Comfortable. You're looking ahead at your TV right there. Um, and yeah, you know, it's nice. You got the windows all the way around. You do have your MCD privacy shades. Okay, very nice units, you know. Um, also, look at the slide out. We're not hating this. It's not flush floor, but it's not that carpet. It's like an outside material that's right. durable and can get dirty and wet. And it's and it's all right. Well, well, do you know what time it is? It's now time for the MSRP. This is where it gets exciting. Okay. MSRP. On this fifth wheel here is $78,778 will MSRP. Sale price is going to be fantastic, but because it is current model year, we're not currently advertising sale price, but will. That is a great MSRP for everything that you're getting per square inch. And with our sale price, uh, makes this a great price fifth wheel. And I know we'll be able to get everybody an even better sale price than that. And Will, if somebody's interested in this milestone and they want to get the best price in America, tell everybody how to get it. They can call, they can text, they can email, they can FaceTime. Hey, 301-906-0962 or mattsrvreviews at gmail.com. Send me an email. Or the best thing to do, Will, is to go to mattsrvreviews.com. There you will see your three contact me tabs. If you're ready to buy this RV or any RV, you click tab number one. That takes you to General RV to fill out your mat cash. When you fill it out, somebody from my internet team will call you and get you the best price in America. Or you can print out that mat cash coupon once you fill it out and bring it into one of our 13 locations with you. If you're not ready to buy this RV, but you have some serious questions about it, that's what tab number two is for. That sends an email to both Will and myself, and we're here to help you. 
Don't click tab number one unless you're ready to buy. Or if it's just a generalized fan question, not a problem, we're still here to help. Click that third tab. And well, it doesn't matter if somebody clicks tab three, two, or one. It doesn't matter if they talk to our internet team or if they bring their Matt Cash coupon in store with them. What's the one thing they'll always get? The best price in America. Well, let's continue the video. All right. Sounds good. So we'll start over here with the cabinets. So look at this color. It's totally different. Yeah, man. I don't know that I've ever seen that before. Right. For sure. So we've got some storage there. Yep. Some nice storage up top here. Okay. Right above your Greystone microwave. Just a regular microwave there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Some storage there as well. Okay. Okay. And you have a nice big window here. Window on the campsite. Yeah, on the very, campsite. Very good. Where you're cooking. Solid surface countertops throughout the, the whole kitchen. Um, right here, you got a little spray faucet. Okay, okay. And then you got a single bowl sink mm. with solid surface inserts as well. Very nice. Um, nice Furion three burner cooktop with the blue lights Ooh. and oven. Very nice. And then a little bit of storage here. Okay. And a drawer under the oven there. Nice. Then coming over here. I got that one already. Another little bit of storage there. Yes, sir. More um, countertop. Yeah, more countertop space here. Pretty good amount of counter space, I'd say. And a bunch of drawers here. Yes, sir. Right there. And then over here, we have a nice big... Oh, tray. man. To get a pantry like this in a bunkhouse fifth wheel, yeah. very unique and rare. It is. And then they use this cool Furion unique fridge. I like that. I like oh, how you can cool. see on that side. Oh, there we go. And then... Wow, oh my gosh. So I never know if it's freezer fridge or if it's fridge freezer. Oh, okay. Yeah, but great point. I don't know too. either. I would imagine it's fridge up top freezer on bottom right that's my thought but then it's all drawers right so maybe not i don't know great yeah. point well great observation regardless of how it is it's super nice it is yeah it's now time for that shower test okay. shower test part two i bet you this one will pass yeah bro a lot better than the first one sure is oh yeah oh yeah Plain. a lot better uh due to 360. okay Oh, well, Will, you didn't do the 360 at the other one. Should maybe we test that one no, again? Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, good good space all around. Bing! That's a shower test seal of approval. That's right. All right, right here. Oh, my gosh. Look at my little curl. What the heck's going on? It's getting hot in here. It is getting hot. We got the uh, medicine cabinet there. Nice bathroom sink and everything. Will, are we going to be disappointed again? We might be. Today safe. has been the day of... Uh, Toilet failures. Right. Mmm. Is your foot? Mmm. For me, it's okay. Yeah, if you open the door. Yeah. And for you, sir? Let's this see. Yeah, I can't pass it, especially with this door closed. Right. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting how that's like the third time today. Right, I don't get it. You know, it. Here, I don't know what we should have done because it was fine for me, but I also have little feet, and that's. But even still, my foot was touching. Right. Yeah, you know what? We're not gonna pass it. We gave yeah. him the benefit of the doubt with that with that bathroom right there. True. We're we're, we're not gonna do it twice. Okay. We're not gonna no double benefit of the doubt. That's right. Now you hey, one time it's favor, two times now you're just taking advantage. Of right. This. Inside the bedroom, look at this very nice big king bed. There's a lot of space in here. Actually, there is actually. You know, right over here, Will's in the corner. But look at this. There's plenty of space. You got your dresser drawer right here. Right, one, two, and three. You put a TV right up over there. Right nice there. window. It's actually surprisingly bright in here. It is, yeah. Um, right here. Washer wow, dryer prep. prep for a stackable washer dryer. Again, unexpected in a big bunkhouse fifth wheel right like this. Yep. Storage right there, mirror doors, little cubbies right there. Okay, here's your bed area. Yep. So 
their storage. Okay. Up. And oh. there's a little bit of storage underneath the bed. Well, Will, that's it. That's the review. Now, before everybody leaves, it's now time we give you three things we love about the milestone and three things we don't like about it. Will, what do we do first? Three things we like, dislike? Yes. <laughs> Okay, the only reason why I'm saying that because I'm in here and I don't want to forget. Okay. First dislike, Will, I'm saying this whole bed area. One, right. the bed didn't open up big at all. Yeah, that was weird. It's kind of stupid. But and two, it's... there's no side tables. And it's funny because they put like the little USB ports there. Right. But what are you going to do when there's no side table? Right. You know what I'm saying? And something just feels empty about it. Because there's it? no window. They should have put a window um, above. With how low this bed is, mm -hmm. they definitely should have put a window up there. For sure. So that's dislike number one. Dislike number two? Uh, I can give you two and three. Okay. Cool. Keep on going. Dislike number two. I hate this table here. Do you? And I hate this sofa. Here's what I mean. I really don't mind this, but again, this is the unit that's going to sleep four five six seven people okay right check this out hear me out hear okay. me out remove this put the fridge and pantry over here right make this a super sofa because with only three seats like you're not seating everybody you're not no you know what i'm saying it's true you make it a soup like if you're gonna design it like a toy hauler design it like a toy right. hauler with that super sofa right so that's number two and then number three, well, Outside? you know what? I'm not even gonna say the kids shower back there. Okay, we going outside? Yeah. Again, cause the fact, the fact that you even get a second shower is benefit enough. It is, yeah. And again, it's for the kids. So number three is gonna be this outside kitchen. Right. Lane, it, it's not being rude. They, you know what? And I hate saying this. They, they did a really good job stuffing as much stuff in here as they can. But when I compare this to the competition, a lot of times competition has a really big outdoor kitchen on a bunkhouse. Right. You know what I'm saying? And this is just kind of small and lame. Um, it's like, is something better than nothing or would nothing have been better? Right. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. It's just my dislike. And I got to say that ladder height. You know, oh, yeah. But, yeah. but hey, with a U-step, we, we would have been okay. <laughs> Great, so that's three things we don't like about it. Well, now it's time for three things we love about this uh, fifth wheel. Okay. You want to go first or me? Um, You go first. Follow me. This, you know what? I think... I think we're about to do a super like, don't you? Okay. I yeah. Mean, don't. You, I mean, I'm gonna I'm gonna say it all. I mean, this is kind of weird. I so love it's this all three in one. I love this. I'm, I'm just gonna start rambling. Okay. I'm going. I'm going, guys. It's towards the end of the day, and we can do this. I love this back bedroom area. I love how it sleeps four people. I love how there's a loft and it sleeps five people. Again, we complain about this bathroom, but at least it is a second full back right super smart about that in here you know what this kitchen space just the whole the super like is the whole entire layout right we can complain about little things here and there having a bigger sofa but still to get a kitchen this big and a fifth wheel that can sleep this many people is unheard of the fact that you're actually getting a pantry in a bunkhouse fifth wheel That's this right. size is unheard of. We did we did the Alpine two days ago, didn't even have a pantry, and that was a couple's unit. You right. know what I'm saying? You know, all the little things we complain about, all the little non-prime pooping positions, for them to stuff all of that into a unit, you know, when you talk about everything that somebody would want, 42 feet can get small real quick. Oh, yeah. So for the fact that they were able to do this, and third like at an affordable price point yes it's absolutely fantastic that's Let's right step outside okay does feel nice out here well will that's it that's the review that's the heartland milestone 386 bh 
If you guys have any questions about the Smith Wheel, please call, text, send us an email. It is mattsrvreviews at gmail.com or 301-906-0962. That's my personal cell or the best thing to do is to go to mattsrvreviews.com and again, click one of those three contact tabs. When you get your Matt Cash, uh, somebody from my internet team will call you or you can bring your Matt Cash into the store with you at one of our 13 locations and still get that additional savings off. If you guys want to see competitors to this milestone, we are going to put its competitors right here and here. Will, is there anything you'd like to say? Of course. All right, guys, like Matt said, this is just like so much crammed into one, especially with that bunkhouse. It's just great for families. Um, you know, I think you said it earlier, it doesn't get much better than that. So make sure to leave down in the comments below. Let us know three things you like, three things you dislike. Make sure to smash the thumbs up button and subscribe. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching and Will. We'll see you, you next time. time.